Hi, today we're working on a project with these two different photographs. We have this cow here, and I have taken the time to eliminate the background from the cow. I did that with just a vector tracing and used it as a cutout to get the background out of there. And I also have this beautiful farm with a fence where the cow is supposed to live. And uh, we want her to be inside the fence because if she stays out here she'll run away so my project is to make it look like she's inside this fence here so let's work on this um, I'm going to select my this is a JPEG so it has a white background and I want it to have a transparent background so the first thing I'm going to do is convert it to a bitmap right here I'll keep it low resolution transparent background very important right there then I'm going to copy it because I want two of these and paste it now when you paste it upon itself it is exactly pixel for pixel exactly on top of the original so you can't see anything there but there's two So now I want to isolate this fence on the second one. So I'm going, to, I'm going to go up here to Edit Bitmap. Let's see what we can do here. This takes us into Corel Photo Paint, which is the Photoshop equivalent of Corel. I'll zoom in a little bit. And looking at this fence, it looks high contrast enough that I can probably get away with using the magic wand mask. Which if you're familiar with that, what its job is, is to detect edges of contrast and mask off the photo accordingly. So let's see how it works. I'll click on this grass. And I've got this tolerance set at 20. You can go higher or lower depending on your photo and what you're doing and how successful it is in detecting the edges. Um, if I hold down my shift key I can do multiple selections at once. You can see this uh, magic wand is doing a nice job of detecting the edges of my fence so I don't have to do it myself. If I had to I'll just do it myself but Whenever possible, I prefer to use the automatic tools. All right, now, um, the fence is the part I want to stay, and the grass is the part I want to eliminate. So I'm going to click Control-X, which gets rid of all my grass. Now, I still have this shadow back here and these trees back here. But I don't care because the cow is going to be in front of these and behind the fence. So this is the only part I'm worried about. Right here is where the cow is going to be. And now I can click out of Photo Paint. And it's going to say Save Changes to Bitmap, which I think I will. Now, look what we have. Two photos, one on top of the other pixel for pixel but this top one has the grass part eliminated where the cow is going to be standing so I'll put it back where it belongs and now I am going to crop it down right here to the fence line and over here too so you can't see what I'm doing here but I'm cropping it in so that it, it only has my fence here. And the fence part is clear, so wherever I put the cow, that fence is going to be in front of it. And you can't see it's there because it's matched exactly pixel for pixel with my original. So now when I put the cow in here, she looks like she's behind the fence. And... If I make her too big, you can see her front leg gets over there. So 
I want to keep her in front of what I call my cheat patch. See, she's still in front of the original, but she's behind this. And that's about as big as I would like for her to be. Maybe a little bit too big. So that's the beauty of this. I can adjust the cow to fit the photo. And now we've successfully created a fairly realistic photo of the cow behind the fence, like this. And nobody will ever notice the difference. And uh, that's an easy way that I use to uh, combine photos and uh, practice some of these techniques. I think you'll like using uh, Corel Photo Paint as you become more familiar with it. And I hope your next project goes well.